Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be showing you how I build and paint the swamp bases of my Cruel Boys army. I've bought several tools for this like swamp water gel and foam moss but all of these are optional. There are tons of different ways to make these kinds of bases. But this is how I make them. Let's begin shall we? To prepare the base before I glue on the model, I use cork and pieces of tree bark to create some height on the base. I use two sizes of cork, a 1mm sheet and a 3mm sheet. I either use one of these or in combination, I try to vary it up. Heroes or unit bosses usually get some added height so they'll be more visible on the battlefield. I apply the cork to the base using some drops of super glue. Here I'm using Gorilla Glue Gel. It's not the cheapest glue, but it works really well. If I want to place my model on a small rock, I use pieces of tree bark. These small pieces already have a great texture and are usually already in the shape of a rock. I make sure the part I want to glue is flush with the base. I recommend using PVC glue for this. And this is where I normally glue on the models before I go to priming. Priming can be done in different ways. For this demonstration I decided to just spray the bases black real quick with an airbrush. Next I use Sterling Mud to add texture and color to the base. Again, this can be achieved in different ways. Either use a texture paste before priming or make your own. Time to get some dry brushing done. First, I dry brush the entire base with Steel Legion Drab. If there was a model on the base, I also make sure to hit the feet with my dry brush. This makes it look like the model is part of the environment I'm creating. Next, I dry brush Bane Blade Brown. Again, I'm going over the entire base, creating a muddy look for my swamp. Now I'm dry brushing Caliban Green on the areas where I want my swamp water to be. Be sure to also hit the surrounding areas. This discoloration will help sell the idea of a wet and dirty environment. I brightened the previous parts with a dry brush of Elysian Green. Finally I apply Art Coat. This will make the mud all glossy and wet looking. Now the bases look a bit boring without a model on them, but you can see it looks muddy and gross. Now I'm going to add some moss and foliage to really sell the swamp look. I have this moss texture from AK, which is just shredded foam. I thought it was pretty convenient. I apply PVC glue where I want the moss and with tweezers I apply it. The moss is very monochromatic right now and that makes it a bit boring. I apply Ethonian camo shade to add some shading. Then I lightly dab a brush with Elysian Green to add some highlights to the moss. Now to add some swampy water. For this I use a silicone brush and I can't recommend this enough. It makes it easy to apply and you can spread the gel more evenly. I'm using swamp water gel from AK here for convenience and I must say I really like the result. The more water you add, the more transparent it'll become. The way I do it is I make sure the silicone brush is nice and wet before grabbing a bit of gel. 
This waters down the gel slightly and makes it easier to apply. It will cure pretty opaque, but I personally don't mind that. If you want to still see what you're painting underneath, I recommend you mix in a lot of water. Keep in mind you'll need several layers to build up a convincing pool of swamp water though. A swamp is not complete with some tree logs and foliage. First, I'm taking this tiny branch and glue it with PVC glue to the base. I bought several kinds of self-adhesive grass tufts. I want to make my swamp look interesting with different kinds of colored grass. They are pretty easy to apply. Just remove them from the cart with tweezers and stick them on the base. Some people use some extra super glue, but I haven't had any tufts detaching themselves from bases ever, so I'm trusting the adhesive. I usually try to put all three on the base somewhere. Although the big blobs of tall grass I usually keep for bigger bases. You can cut it up with a hobby knife though. Finally, a model is never done unless the trim is painted on the base. For these bases I use Dryad Bark, as it is a nice extension of the Sterland Mud. And here we have three swampy bases ready for use. For someone who never really bothered painting his bases, I really enjoy basing now. I've amassed quite a collection of basing materials and with the addition of the tree bark pieces I can make some really impressive bases like the one of my Nurk mob over here. It does take some additional work and preparation before you can start painting a model, but it's definitely worth it. Next video I'm going to have a look at my unit of Hopgrat Slidas. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.